I'm telling you, I got sweaty feet, so it's it is very much slipping and sliding. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey there! So today's video was actually supposed to be a decluttering video because lately I've been just feeling like I'm in a style rut. I've just been looking at the clothing in my closet and not feeling anything for it. Literally almost hating everything I own. I realized the reason why I was feeling that way is because with summer fashion, I, I just don't know how to put together an outfit. So I just end up wearing the same thing every day and I wanna change that. And so instead of getting rid of potentially stuff that I do really love, I am going to be putting together some summer outfits, not only inspire you with, you know, summer fashion and like styling, but also to give myself almost like outfit ideas when I'm not sure what to wear, which before we get started, I did just want to say, yes, I do have my sun tattoo. If you guys didn't know, I was waiting until until I hit 300k to get it, which I did. So thank you so much for subscribing and being here. But I was so nervous that I filmed absolutely nothing when I got it. Yeah, I do have it. And you'll see it throughout this video with all the outfits. And yeah, thank you so much for subscribing and making this possible. Anyway, okay, let's get into the outfits. <laughs> We are starting out with probably the most summer outfit in this video. I mean, I have summer outfits like in this video, but like truly I have already worn this to the beach. This is kind of like my go-to and I feel like my uniform for the summer, which is just some shorts, a loose button up, and then some sort of like crop top, or in this case, just a bikini top. I just love the bright red kind of poking through the button up. And then with the button up already having red in it, like it just mixes in so perfectly and then the distressed shorts like I like I said have already worn this to the beach but even if I was going anywhere where I'm gonna be outside and I'm gonna be sweating this is what I will be wearing so this outfit is definitely quite simple and basic but I don't know about you but when I'm feeling really anxious going somewhere I usually will just wear all black or just more neutrals nothing that really stands out and so I end up just wearing the same thing all the time because I'm always anxious Woo -woo. so i wanted to put together an outfit that had you know black and white something just very neutral and easy and so if i am feeling those anxious nerves before i'm having to go somewhere instead of again just wearing what i always wear i can wear something that's a little bit cuter especially for summertime because my comfort zone is jeans and my like leather blazer which like i cannot do right now because summer oh so not that this is the most like summer outfit, but having a, you know, long skirt, nice and breezy, just a very simple button up. And then I wanted to add some sort of accessory without again, adding too many layers and, you know, heat onto my body. So just going with a simple little black belt. I have been trying to figure out how to style this dress more casual because I think I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's 100% silk or not, but it's basically a nightgown. Like it's pajamas. Dresses during summertime is like amazing. And I don't know why every single summertime, I almost forget how breezy and nice they are when it's very toasty. And so it was my mission to try to style this in a way where it didn't feel as dressy. Yes, I'm still wearing some little heels, but I think bringing it in with this brown belt helps it like tone down a bit. It doesn't look as like, I don't know, glamorous in a way. I don't even know if it looks glamorous on its own, but I personally think it does, but it definitely just helps tone down the colors. I went back and forth because I have another belt that has pink in it and it almost just made it too frilly. And again, I'm really going for like, I'm going to the farmer's market or something. So that's kind of what this outfit has turned into. I just really love the open back as well. So not wearing it with like any sort of bra, I think is really nice because that back sweat gets that nice like breeze onto it. I'm sorry, I'm talking about my sweaty body way too much. I apologize. Just to kind of show what it looks like without the belt, this is what it looks like. Still beautiful, like still great, but it does definitely look like I'm just wearing my pajama like 90 out. This outfit is a lot, but it's one of my favorite just because it has so many elements that I love, which first of all, you may notice, 
I finally have a tiered skirt. Now it's not necessarily the length that I particularly have been looking for. I really, really want a maxi tiered skirt like this, but this was the first one that I found that was not a mini skirt, which I ended up thrifting it on ThreadUp. It's just something about a white tiered skirt that is just so adorable. And I feel like I could go so many different ways in styling it, but I wanted to go for a very simple color scheme. So I paired it just with a white little research back tank top my suede thrifted vest and then as you can see I got cowboy boots well they're not like proper cowboy boots they're more just like western platform boots I thrifted them on Depop and if you guys have been watching any of my videos I've talked about that I have been wanting to get into cowboy boots but I just do not love the pointed toe and so I really wanted a round toe and I finally found them and then with this outfit like it's definitely an interesting pairing but I'm really feeling it this outfit oh my gosh I did not even realize how much pink I had in it until I hit record and I was like wait a second pink shoes pink skirt pink tank top oh wow I just love the details in this outfit all the way up from the little like cami it has little sparkles on it and then this cute little tulle light pink skirt and then I really love this type of I guess like sheer cardigan in a way I'm pretty sure it's also like lingerie or like bedtime wear but honestly it's such a good idea for summer because it's so thin like it feels like I'm not wearing anything and then the cute little ballet flats in a way these ones are not my size I thought they were a size 10 but oh no they were a size 9 on thread up so they are a little bit too tight but they are really cute like the colors just match so perfectly so I was like you know what I got I gotta at least put it together for the outfits I know I said summertime you know it's really hot don't want to go for super thick items and I'm wearing trousers but I actually think trousers are pretty breathable obviously depending on what the material is and this set that I have I'm not sure about the button up with it. It kind of reminds me of nurse scrubs. I'm, I'm not too sure, but I do love a good like matching moment. Although I think it does maybe look a little bit better without the button up. I really, really love the color of the trousers and the fit of the trousers. I did also thrift those on Depop as well. I've just been having a moment with like thrifting shoes lately where I just keep finding the cutest stuff. But anyway, I do really like that it's not just a black shoe because obviously we all know I wear enough black shoes. I just really like how the pink and green kind of mix in together. I did also put my hair in pigtails. Let me know what you think about them. I've been really wanting to experiment more with doing hairstyles. I will say I do slightly regret cutting my hair because I'm like, wow, I could have done so many hairstyles when I had longer hair and it's a little bit harder when you have shorter hair, but I am trying. I am obsessed with this outfit. I don't know why I never thought to put this top or any type of frill top with these pants. These pants also feel like pajamas. So I mean, really, if you want to wear your pajama bottoms outside during summertime, just put it with a dressier like frilly top because it just makes it work together they're super thin so honestly perfect for summertime the um chunky boots probably aren't the best idea for summertime so i could always put them with like sneakers or something like that but i just thought they looked really nice with the outfit so i put them with it i just love all the details of the top then with the pants and i did add some like heart necklaces as well to kind of go with a little cutesy look to it. Ever since I thrifted this dress, I have been trying to find ways to wear it where it doesn't just show my butt because it is short. So I decided to almost use it as more of a top by layering it on top of some shorts and i mean i think it does work obviously in the department of like not showing my butt but i am just like missing something i really want to find some ruffled like bloomer shorts i think that would like just be perfection with this dress because with putting it with denim shorts it kind of like tones it down too much i still like this outfit i think i'll still like wear it until i end up getting like actual bloomers but this dress is just so pretty that i'm like i want to wear it now so i think I think this is definitely a way to rock it. This outfit doesn't necessarily scream summertime, but I feel like it honestly would be really good for a summer night because summer nights to an extent are a little bit cold 
colder than during the day but it just reminds me of like going to a movie theater it's very comfy this skirt i am obsessed with i got it in i think a goth mystery box a couple of months ago and i just love the idea of taking pieces that are more for like fall and winter and still implementing them into my wardrobe during the like hotter seasons so i decided to go with a Jonas Brothers t-shirt that I got off Depop and then just to add some sort of layering that way it wasn't just like a t-shirt and a skirt I put this denim little vest on it and I'm just like weirdly into vests who who would have thought I barely was like into sweater vests a year ago and now I am just all ham into any kind of vest and especially then with the different textures this particular skirt has some velvet like florals on it and so then then with the denim I think it just pairs really nicely I'm actually quite surprised how much black outfits I have in this video I'm sorry but also I'm not sorry I love color but also I feel like I wear a lot of black during summertime as well and this outfit I'm obsessed with is it revolutionary very interesting no it is not but it is comfy and it is cute ever since I thrifted these little trouser shorts I just want to wear them every day they just instantly make your outfit look put together and like a little bit more sophisticated. I decided just to go with a square neck tank top, something easy. My only pop of color is my brown belt. If I didn't wear the belt, it was just like, kind of looked like I was wearing a garbage bag, but this perfectly breaks it up. And then I just have obviously my Jaden Doc Martens. Personally, I wear these during the summer. I have worn them to Disneyland during the summer and they're great for me. I mean, my feet do get sweaty no matter what. So like, what's the point of them not wearing the Jadens when they are cute? For the last outfit, I am wearing jeans which isn't very like summery but I do still like to wear jeans you know depending on how hot the day is one kind of key difference in styling jeans during summertime is I don't like to tuck in too much into my jeans because jean material during summertime is literally terrible and so then trying to like jam pack a bunch of fabric into my pants like it just becomes so sweaty right here so i like to wear a very loose top with jeans or like just a proper crop top where i don't have to tuck anything in and so with these particular jeans the reason why i'm wearing them also in this video is they're very loose on the leg I am so sad there are so many jeans I can't wear after like June 1st just because they're a little bit too fitted on the legs so having something a little bit loose just makes it more comfortable. These particular jeans do fit pretty perfectly on my waist like they fit my waist absolutely like amazing but then the legs are a little bit loose. <laughs> just fell on my sandals so oh, gosh darn i'm telling you i got sweaty feet so it's it is very much slipping and sliding i didn't want to overcomplicate all the outfits in this video because i feel like during summertime you really can't overcomplicate it because it is again so hot i feel like i've said that way too many times in this video but yeah i hope you all got inspired for summer fashion and all that i'm feeling way better about what i'm going to be wearing this summer like i said the whole kind of like key purpose of this video was to make outfits for me to choose when i'm getting ready for the day which as always 99% of everything i showed in this video is thrifted so if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time i make a new video and also don't forget to follow me on instagram which is alex sunshine 83 i will see you in my next video and i hope you have a super sunny day bye